Hello everybody, it's been about three weeks since Clap was officially announced and a lot of things happened since then, which I thought would be worth summing up for you. So starting with YouTube videos, you should not miss. So first one was the talk at Sonic State. So I guess everybody knows Sonic State and Nick Bat who's running the show. And they had a show, Let's Talk Club, which was joined by Urs Heckmann of Yuhi and Blasidus Shelbert, the CEO of Bidwig, and as well as Alexandre Big, the inventor of Club mainly, and also working for Bidwig, but also did some work for UE, for example, he bought all the Linux versions of the UE plugins. Very good high level talk. What's the intention behind it? And if you have not heard too much about Clap, that's definitely worth watching. Second one is the show The Audio Programmer, which had a talk introduction to the Clap standard. This is more the in depth one you want to hear as a developer, what are the pros and cons and ideas behind it, as well as really technology talk about how it works. Besides Alexandre, which was also taking part in that talk, there was Paul Walker, which you might know as Bacon Paul on GitHub, and he's also one of the main contributors to Clap, so he has a lot to say about it and opinions about it. And this is absolutely must watch if you want to get into coding clap. A little overview was done by Heinbach, German uh, tinker uh, YouTube guy who loves old technologies and put them in plugins. And he has a new plugin out and this is already implementing clap. And he talks a bit in this short video, what is clap? And so this is a very good sum up if you have not heard about clap before. And I definitely want to mention Odos and Daido Kai. He does many, many Bitwig tutorials and he absolutely deserves to have more viewers because he does really nice in depth tutorials about Bitwig devices. And he started some time ago also now to translate them to English. So, also for international viewer community, this is very helpful. And he also did a sum up about Clap with showing what you can do already with the UE plugins. I was also surprised how huge the coverage of the the press was so basically every music site had an article about clap so i guess you are familiar with that but i was also surprised that the biggest german tech page heiser also had an article about clap if you can read german it is also worth having a look yeah we know that clap is also thought about to be supported in a gaming industry in gaming frameworks there is also a podcast about doing audio in gaming production so game audio our podcast and it's an interesting listen if you want to get the perspective of the new clap standard from a game audio view this is an interesting news. There is now a little database about all the software which is already available and supports Clap. So all Clap hosts, all Clap audio plugins are now in there. Let's have a look in that. So it's done by a KVR member, which is Tylo here. And in this thread, which is also linked from this page, you can simply write him and tell him you have also something new and he will add it to this data. Database. This is an already very impressive list. Starting from the bottom, we know Bitwig supports it and it's now also final. So we have now a final official version, which already supports the Clap standard in its full. And we already know about the Search XT, which I already talked about, and also the UE plugins, but which was also announced now. The Trout Hurry DSP plugins are now also in a nightly build available. Another host, the Multitrack Studio, is now also in a final version available as a host and also search kept on working and also their little b-step uh, sequence uh, and monique i think is also a instrument plugin here they are also now ported and supporting clap some more known names so odin 2 was already uh, announced that they will support it it's also now an official version available i will not read everything to you here but what is interesting is dex is a dx7 emulation is now also supported 
supporting it and Vital is also quite a known synth, wavetable synth, which also has now Clap and also TAL, which is a long time developer of uh, nice instruments for example, Uno emulations and stuff like that. They also support now the Clap plugin, at least for the first one, the TAL drum. Uh, yeah, what also the site has, you can search for different aspects. You can also search for the operation system, which is not yet really necessary. Uh, but what is important, he also added here the option to search for the if it can support polyphonic modulation and if it can already support the voice stacking feature in the implementation and then you will get the results as well. So little overview, not sure if this will be a regular kind of video I will do about Clap that depends on what's going on and if there is so much news about it. But I'm definitely already working on a tutorial uh, how to develop with Clap and this will start soon. And until that one is released, make some funky music.